chills. Number 10, High Tech Ghost. If you can summon spirits using a homemade Ouija board, then it stands to reason that a digital version would work just as well. This is what happened to an 18-year-old girl from Lima, Peru when she used a Ouija board app on her smartphone after using the app with her friends to ask just a few questions. Patricia Kispe somehow managed to summon a spirit that apparently followed her home. Soon after playing with the board, her parents noticed that she started to throw violent tantrums and foam at the mouth. Según testigos, ella presentó una aparente posesión satánica luego de jugar a la Ouija. Her voice changed too. It became strained and evil as she thrashed about in her restraints. The poor girl often shouted the same phrases over and over again. She would repeat the number six three times in a row, and she would also tell doctors to give her back her phone, presumably so that she could get back on the Ouija app and cause further damage. She was taken to a psychiatric ward to be further examined. Whether she regained her senses or remains internally possessed is a mystery. Number 9. The Summoning Four girls are about to witness the power of the Ouija board firsthand. The video begins just as they are receiving an answer to their final question, and they are now ready to end the session. They start to move the cup in a circle three times to clear the board, but whatever they have summoned is not exactly ready to leave quite yet. Okay. Oh my god! Just before the girls can cast the spirit back into its own dimension, it desperately leaps inside one of them and takes control. Then the possession ends as quickly as it began. They all rush in and one of the girls cradles her friends in her arms as she cries and trembles. They ask if she needs any water. Even though I'm not sure exactly what happened, I think it's safe to say that a glass of water probably isn't going to be enough to help her. Number 8. Stuffed Stare As this footage from Mexico shows, humans are far from the only things that can potentially become possessed by summoned spirits. In this video, three friends are just hanging out together in a cramped room, trying to use a Ouija board to summon whatever spirits they can find. Suddenly, it looks like they attract some supernatural attention. You can't hear any sound, but you can tell things are starting to get interesting by the way they all lean forward and wait for the next answer. The room appears to grow very hot for a moment and the man in the center rubs some sweat from his brow. As he does this, a white stuffed bear above him springs to life. It appears to look down at the three of them and it especially seems to regard the person on the left the most. The man on the left eventually looks up and the two lock eyes. He immediately starts to point out the possessed bear to his friends but when his friends look up to see what he's talking about, the bear stops moving. It looks like they get in a small argument for a moment as the man tries to convince his friends that he isn't making up a story and that he really did see the bear move. One of them picks up the bear and examines it. It doesn't do anything, so they all sit down with the Ouija board and start over again. When they start to ask another question with the Ouija board, the stuffed toy begins to look around some more. This time it makes no attempt to hide itself as they all turn around and watch in horror. They all jump up from their seats and run out of the room, so terrified that none of them even think to take the camera with them. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a like as it really helps me out. Number 7. Homemade Possessions You don't need to buy an official Ouija board if you want to contact the dead. G Money Gaming and his friend decided to do it themselves using a Ouija board that they made with a piece of paper and a plastic pointer. Little did they know how effective their design would turn out to be. G Money begins asking if there are any spirits in the room with them, and he immediately gets a positive response. When he asks how many spirits there are, the answer is two. By this point, G-Money and his friend are sufficiently scared, but they decide to keep going anyway. G-Money bravely asks the spirits what their names are, and he gets a dreadful response, Zozo and Mama. These two spirits are famous for haunting Ouija board users throughout the world, and they are even rumored to possibly be demons with strong ties to Satan. Zozo. Zozo. Oh my god, dude. What was that? What the heck was that? We need to end the session right now.
the Ouija board starts to spell Zozo over and over again in rapid succession, and then something is knocked over from deeper within the house. The two friends know that they have to end the session fast before anything bad can happen, so G Money quickly moves the pointer over to goodbye. Just when this happens, the pointer slides away as if something had grabbed it. As they back out of the room, the entire board flies at them, and they launch into a full sprint. Number 6. Lisa a man and a woman manage to successfully summon a female spirit while a third person films. L I S A, the spirit spells Lisa. Did you push that? I did not push that. Seriously? None of you guys no. push that over to the X like that? No. Not at all. Mm -mm. You guys doing something underneath the table? No. No. Because that looked like it moved all on its own. After this, the pointer dashes to the letter X on its own. Neither one of them appear to have pushed the pointer to the letter X. It seems to have moved there completely on its own. The cameraman checks under the table for magnets, but he doesn't find any, and there doesn't look to be any strings. There's a quick cut in the video, so unfortunately, we can't exactly hear the next question that they asked. Either way, the pointer circles a bit and lands on yes, and then it darts on its own back to the mysterious letter X for a second time. If this video is to be believed, then why did the spirit repeatedly choose the letter X? Perhaps it could have meant that it was an X lover Or on the other hand, the letter X could even represent her death. Exactly what Lisa wanted will never be known. They understandably backed away from the board after the second time that the pointer moved on its own. However, it doesn't look like they properly ended the ceremony, so perhaps Lisa will be back for a second visit after all. Number 5. Did You Die in the House? Number 5. Contact Prue continues to experience a high concentration of Ouija board possessions, this time in the city of Haiyan. Blanca Giovanna is only 16 years old when she and her other friends began to use the board for fun. Like so many others, she is not aware of the board's true danger and she is swallowed by evil for her ignorance. It's unclear how many times Blanca and her friends used the board to summon demons before she was finally overtaken by one. Maybe she became possessed after using the board just once. Or perhaps it took days of repeated attempts before a demon found its way from the board into her soul. Exactly how the demon got her is unknown, but in other Ouija board possession cases, it's usually either from taunting the spirit or failing to banish them back to their realm at the end of the ceremony. What we do know is that this began a minor possession which soon grew out of control. Blanca went from being a carefree teenager to a violent maniac in just a matter of days. Her behavior became so aggressive that her family eventually could no longer deal with her. They had her committed for a lack of a better idea. While in her possessed form, Blanca continued to amaze and scare psychiatric workers to no end. Her evil antics even began to draw a crowd of curious locals and news reporters, who all agree that she had seen the face of Satan. When she wasn't trying to attack them outright, she was shouting mysterious satanic phrases and wailing terribly. Like her family, the psychiatric ward eventually ran out of ideas and settled on chaining her to the wall to protect her from others. The demon stayed inside her body for at least 21 days. This was in 2011, and while locals may not know what has happened, no follow-up reports have ever left the city. This lack of information has led many to speculate that perhaps Blanca had to either been exiled or even killed so that the rest of the town could be saved. Number 4. Josh says, This footage comes from a YouTuber named No Biggie TV, who decided to tempt fate and make a video testing out Ouija boards. He is extremely skeptical at first, and he points out that Ouija boards can't be that scary if they are allowed to sell at Toys R Us. While he is waiting in line to buy it, however, a woman asks if he knows where the idea from Ouija boards came from. She says that the man who invented it sold his soul to the devil, and that making it readily available to kids was part of an evil conspiracy. No Biggie TV ignores her warning and buys the board anyway. He picks up a friend named Dave and heads to Dave's apartment. Apartment. After briefly reading some instructions, they are quickly communicating with the dead in no time. They contact a spirit who says his name is Josh. He was born in 1921. Things are getting a little too scary. 
So No Biggie TV pulls a prank on his friend by pretending to be possessed, and then the two get back to being serious. As the ceremony progresses, they start to hear breathing and other strange thumping noises. Besides the thumping. kitchen and the dog. The thumping? No, I hear some kind of breathing. That is so fucking spooky. What the fuck? Josh tells him that the house is not safe after using the Ouija board, but there is one thing that they can do to possibly change that. Burn me, Josh writes to them. Obviously, no one wants to have a haunted house, so the two friends waste little time doing exactly what Josh asks. They take the board around back and set the entire thing on fire, box and all. As the box burns, Dave's car starts to turn on randomly on its own. Even after they put the fire out, they could still hear the board sizzle. It gave No Biggie TV an electrical shock when he touched it. Unfortunately, they couldn't burn the board properly, so they decided to drive as far as possible and throw it away instead. Although they did say goodbye to the board, nowhere in the video does it show them properly ending the session. Just how angry Josh will be that they didn't follow his exact orders remains to be seen. Number 3. The Pizza Possession Jackson Combs and his friend Stacy are bored late at night when they decide to summon some spirits to help pass the time. They are joined by a third friend, Alice, who brings with her the top of a pizza box. Together, they use it to make a homemade Ouija board. It's well past one in the morning by the time the three of them agree on a place to use it. They use a small cap as a pointer and spin it in three circles to clear the board. Then they begin. Is anybody there? Jason asks. The pointer does not move, so he repeats himself. That's when the cup moves down into the left, stopping on yes. Jason asks what the spirit's name is, and the ghost writes back, Susan. When asked if the spirit is good or bad, Susan says that she is good, then she says that she wants someone named Danny. None of them know who Danny is, so Susan says goodbye. The three friends could have stopped here, but they enjoyed the experience, so they decided to keep it up and try to contact other spirits. Again, they make three circles with the cup to clear the board. Another spirit soon makes itself known, but this time it isn't as nice as Susan. Instead of asking what the spirit's name is, Jason asks if it's a good spirit. It signals that no, it is not. They could have immediately discontinued contact from there, but they weren't feeling threatened enough at the time. Jason asks for its name. John, it writes back. What do you want? Jason asks out loud. Kill is the response that he is given. Even though no other questions are asked, the cup suddenly moves to the no answer and flips over. The three of them hear a noise coming from the bathroom, and Jason goes inside to investigate. <laughs> The door shuts behind him and the house fills with his screams. When the girls are able to get the door open, he is cowering in the corner. Whatever had been summoned had viciously attacked him. Number 2. Japanese TV These three girls playing with a Ouija board seem to be on some sort of Japanese television show. This isn't very surprising since some of the scariest evidence of the paranormal seems to come from Japanese game shows or investigation series. The girls have apparently been threatened by the spirit to not film this encounter, but it's clearly not their decision. The border spirit threatens to curse the girls and they are understandably shaken up. It doesn't take long for all hell to break loose after this. One of the girls claims to see a woman and the group jumps, leaving two of the three young girls on the floor. In their panic, the quarter they were using as the planchette begins to move swiftly on its own. Furniture in the room begins to fly around as if being thrown and a strange loud clicking can be heard. The footage becomes more and more chaotic before the video ends, leaving the viewer with concern and a desire for more insight. <laughs> B. 
before we get to number one, if you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT. I also have a Twitter at YTChills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Number one, mass possession. The Elsa Perea Flores High School in Peru is said to be incredibly haunted. According to local rumors, the school was built on a gravesite that the mafia used to bury corpses. In May of 2016, a group of school children used a Ouija board to summon the spirit of one of the dead victims, and this footage showed it absolutely worked. Shortly after using the Ouija board, at least 20 students were all affected by a mass hallucination. The children fell to the ground and went into seizures as they vomited. <laughs> They were uncontrollable and had to be loaded into trucks and driven to the hospital for examinations. In the weeks that followed, almost a hundred other students fell victim to the same mysterious condition. They would be acting normally one moment and then on the ground having a full-blown seizure the next. It was always on school property. In fact, it wouldn't be uncommon for students from different classes to pass out at the exact same time. Many of the students complained about the same evil spirit attacking them, a man dressed in all black with a big bushy beard. He always wanted to hurt them, they said. It also wasn't uncommon for the children to hear voices and feel relentlessly stalked, like someone was going to come up from behind and snatch them at any moment. One of the students even claimed to have felt a large pair of hands tighten around her neck. You would think that they could somehow fight back, but high school ends earlier in Peru than most other countries. As such, these were all children between the ages of 11 and 14. They were all completely helpless and unable to defend themselves. The school officials eventually sought the help of Catholic priests to perform exorcisms and to hold mass. Unfortunately, none of this seems to have helped very much. According to the latest reports, whatever was unleashed by the Ouija board continues to haunt the poor school kids to this day. 